Hello guys, how are you? My name is Renata. Welcome back to my channel where we're gonna learn by drinking. Um, I know you guys been drinking a little more this, this time, so then that's good. So today's episode is gonna be really helpful because we're gonna learn what to smell in a wine. So there are three groups of smells, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Uh, the primaries are the one that um, develop during fermentation, secondaries are post-fermentation, and tertiaries are during maturation, okay? The primary aromas, you're gonna have our wine. Remember on the other session that we talk about how to smell a wine, first nose, second nose, okay. You already know, if not, go check it out. Um, the primary aromas are mainly fruits and flowers, okay? It's not a rule, but usually, white wines you're gonna smell more green fruits stone fruits maybe some minerality and on red wines you're gonna smell more black and red fruits okay in this case um this is a pinot noir that's a little uh young so of course the red fruits the cherry the raspberry the strawberry are the main aromas um on the flower side of course uh maybe some lilies maybe some honeysuckle maybe some red roses, You depends on your nose. It's a little personal, but you're gonna smell, um, you can smell a lot of flowers in the primary aromas. The secondary aromas had to do with either malolactic fermentation or contact with lees or yeasts or oak, okay? So if the, if the wine has contact with lees, the lees and the yeast give this buttery, like creamy um, flavors. The malolactic fermentation also is like butter, cheese, creamy uh, flavors. And the oak gives a little vanilla, nutmeg, cinnamon, something like spicy-ish flavors. So those are the secondary flavors, the post-fermentation flavors. And the third, um, the tertiary flavors are the ones that develop during maturation, as I mentioned you. So they're going to be the, the tertiary flavors. Usually they appear when the wine is a little older. So if it was matured on oak, it's going to develop these aromas that I was telling you, maybe vanilla, maybe nutmeg, maybe a little leather, um, wet soil. Those are like more developed, um, more developed aromas, such as, for example, jams. Like when you smell like some... Uh, fig jam something that like that is like a little more concentrated than just the regular fig something that's a little bit, bit more complex more developed that's where you're going to smell in um in the tertiary aromas for me um leather is one of the characteristic tertiary aroma for example in like really old good um red wines for example a good barolo or a good, a good uh, brunello di montalcino you can smell like the leather the spiciness the white soil even truffles no you can there those are like the tertiary aromas that are developed so that's it guys um most of let me just this is as i mentioned so personal but most of the young wines it's not a rule it's just like most of the times the young wines are are tend to to smell only like the primary aromas to have only the primary aromas maybe some secondary but as the wine tend to gain age they also gain aromas and those are the tertiary so give it a shot just smell your wine said like i don't know this is so personal said um i i smell cooked fruit i smell dried fruit i smell red fruit i smell acacia i smell honey you can smell whatever you want, but just keep in mind these three groups, primary, secondary, and tertiary, and enjoy, and please drink a lot of wine, but stay home, stay safe, and see you on the next chapter. Cheers, guys. Enjoy.